Let's say you have Salesforce org and Google Calendar account and you want events that are created on Salesforce site to be synchronized to Google Calendar account. To accomplish this, we will use OOS 2.0 authorization framework with authorization code flow, also known as web server flow. So let's get started. First of all, you need to log in to Google Cloud Console account and create new project. Populate all the required data, press Create button, wait until project is ready, select newly created project. Go to API and Services, then Library, search for Google Calendar API, press Enable button, OK. Calendar API is enabled. On the right hand side there is a documentation section that provides useful references. As a next step we need to create credentials to be able to make requests to Google Calendar API from external system. Select user data since we will be creating events which are data belonging to Google user. Press next button. During creation of credentials for the first time, Google requires us to set up consent screen. So, provide basic information like app name and user support email. Also, provide developer email. Google needs it to notify about any changes to the project. Press Save and Continue button. Press Add or Remove Scopes button. Select required scopes. In our case, it is events owned. That means that API will be able to create, read, update and delete events on calendars which user owns. Press update button, then press save and continue button. Select application type as web application. I'll call our client as Salesforce client. Redirect URL we will provide later since we don't have it now. Press create button, download JSON file which contains application credentials like client ID, client secret and other authorization data. Press done. Since our application is in test mode, only specified test users will have access to it. When application is ready, it can be published and after Google review it and approve it, it can be used by any Google user. We will not be covering this in our tutorial, so let's go to OOS consent screen and add our user for testing. Press save button. The user is added. We need to create Salesforce OOS provider to securely store our authorization data and to be able to authorize Google API via OOS 2.0 protocol. As a provider type, I will not choose predefined Google since it does not allow to store the most recent token endpoint URL provided by Google. So I'll select generic OpenID Connect, provide name and URL suffix consumer key, consumer secret, authorize endpoint URL and token endpoint URL should be taken from JSON file with credentials generated by Google. Authorize endpoint URL should be appended with two parameters. Access type equal to offline value. This is to make Google send refresh token along with access token so that Salesforce could store the refresh token and use it to retrieve a new access token when current access token is stale. Prompt equal to consent value is used to show consent screen during authorization request even if previously user already provided consent. This is useful when scopes are changed to show user which resources application is trying to access. Deselect include consumer secret in SOAP API responses, since we don't need this option. Select send client credentials in header to send client ID and client secret in authorization header instead of request body. Press save button. 
Now, since we already have callback URL, we need to copy it, switch to Google Cloud Console, go to Enabled API and Services, select Google Calendar API, go to Credentials tab, open Salesforce Client Credential, under Authorized Redirect URI, press Add URI button, insert callback URL and press Save. The next step is to create external credential and named credential. So, on external credential tab, press new button, populate label and name, as authentication protocol, choose OOS 2.0. Authentication flow type leave as browser flow. Select authentication provider, press save button. Now we need to create a principle. Populate name, identity type should be per user principle, so that each user could integrate their own Google Calendar with Salesforce. The next thing is scope. To retrieve correct name of our scope, let's go to Google Cloud Console, Enabled API and Services, OOS Consent Screen, press Edit Up button, then press Save and Continue. In respective scopes section, you can find the scope. Copy it and insert in external credential principle. This scope should be prepended with base URL. So, go back to Google Cloud Console, Enabled API and Services, Google Calendar API, API Reference, copy base URL, prepend it to scope value. Press Save button. Go to Named Credentials tab, press New button, Populate label and the name, again copy base Google API URL and set it up in named credential. Select our external credential, press save button. The next step is to authenticate our external credential. But before we are able to do this, we need to provide user access to external credential principal. So, let's go to Permission Sets settings and create a new permission set called Google Calendar Demo. Go to External Credential Principal Access, provide access to our principal, press Save button, assign this permission set to user. Go to External Credentials section of User Settings, press Allow Access button. Authentication process has started. Choose your Google account. Google warns us that this application is in testing mode. Press Continue. The next is Consent screen on which you can see permissions that application requires. Press Continue. Press Confirm. All right. We can see that authentication is successful. All the required code consists of Event Integration Queueable class, Event Integration Service class, and Event Trigger. So, on after insert of event record, the trigger is calling enqueue events for sync to G calendar method from event integration service class. This method retrieves events IDs, passes them to the new instance of event integration queueable, and enqueues the job. Event integration queueable job retrieves events records with all the needed fields and passes the these events to sync to G calendar method of event integration service class. This method iterates over each event record and sends it to Google Calendar API. So, we are creating new HTTP request, providing it with named credential and events endpoint. This endpoint you can find in Google API reference. In events section, select insert operation, 
to insert event, we should perform POST request to this endpoint. Instead of specific calendar ID, we have used primary keyword. In such a case, Google will use primary user's calendar. We are specifying POST method, setting content type as JSON, serializing event record data, adding body to request, sending request for execution. Let's check if our integration works properly. On the left-hand side, I have Salesforce Calendar. On the right-hand side, I have Google Calendar. Let's create an event on Salesforce site, populate the subject, add description, and press Save button. Cool! We can see that the event was successfully sent to Google site. We can check that it has the same summary and same description. Ok, let's create one more event record on Salesforce. Populate the subject, add description and press save button. Nice! As you can see, events are successfully getting sent to Google Calendar. Now let's create all day event on Salesforce. Populate the subject, add description and press save button. Amazing! All day event is also successfully getting sent to Google site. Let's test the integration with another user. We should assign him Google Calendar demo permission set. Also, we should add Google account of this user as test user in Google Cloud Console. So, go to OOS consent screen, press Edit Up button, then press Save and Continue button, again Save and Continue, press Add Users button, provide that user's Google email, press Add button, we can see that another user is added as test user. Press save and continue button. Ok, let's switch to another Salesforce account. Go to profile settings, select external credentials section, press allow access. Now we need to complete Google authentication. Select correct Google account. Google warns us that this application is in testing mode. Press continue. The next is consent screen on which you can see permissions that application requires. Press continue. Press confirm. Alright, we can see that authentication is successful. Let's go to calendar. Divide the screen to have both Salesforce calendar and Google calendar. Let's create an event on Salesforce. Populate the subject, add description and press save button. Nice! The event record is successfully sent to Google Calendar. Let's create one more event on Salesforce. Populate the subject, add description and press Save button. Great! Events are successfully getting sent to Google Calendar. Now let's create all-day event on Salesforce site. Populate the subject, add description and press Save button. Wonderful! All-day events are also successfully getting sent to Google site. So, in this tutorial, we have set up integration between Salesforce events and Google Calendar events. We have tested the integration and verified that everything is working perfectly. Thanks for watching.